Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this chain link. So if you uh, follow my channel you'll see that I've been making a couple of uh, beginner exercises. I've noticed that these um, practice exercises have been a lot more popular, they're getting a lot more views so I thought maybe let me make a couple more um, just for the beginners to maybe get up to speed on the basics. So we're going to be making this um, this chain link. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe, um, and also maybe leave a comment on what you'd like to see, what parts of the video maybe you didn't enjoy, what you'd like to see more of, uh, maybe something I didn't explain properly, just so I can have a feel of what I need to do to make my channel better. So without further ado, let's get started. So to get started with uh, creating this 3D model of a chain link, we're actually going to create this dotted center line over there. Uh, what we'll do next is we'll create a plane on this path on which we'll draw this cross section over here. Um, then we'll use a, a feature called sweep and we'll sweep it along that path and it will build it for us. I'm going to show you more than one way to do it just so you have an idea of of how you could approach it potentially. I'm sure there are many more than just the two ideas that I'm going to show you but let's get started with the first idea. So first idea is I'm going to draw a rectangle encompassing that area and then draw two center diameter circles to cover the, the top and then trim the excess and then dimension it. So I need to work out what the distance is between the center and that middle line there. So I can see it's 4.5 millimeters to the internal diameter and 8.5 to the external diameter. So that leaves us 4 which is the thickness of that profile. So I'm just going to add 2 to this 4.5 because that's half of 4. So we get 6.5. So I'm going to make that 6.5. So my distance for my rectangle will be 10 and then on the horizontal side will be 13 which is 6.5 times 2. So let's go create a sketch, create sketch on the top plane. I'm going to just join this onto the origin so it's got a place to um, a fixed point. Create a two point rectangle. We could do a center point rectangle then it would be um, symmetric about the origin but I'm not too phased about that with this particular drawing. So click and move your mouse out to start creating the drawing. You can see as I move it the dimensions change but the highlighted blue one you can actually type that in. So I'm going to type in 10 and it'll adjust that one. And if I push tab it will move on to that dimension and I wanted that at 13. Enter. Now if I want to change these afterwards I can just double click on them and enter a new value. I'm going to leave that at 13. Okay now we're going to create a center diameter circle. So I'll select that and if you look carefully you'll see as I'm moving it along this line it's going to snap to the center point there you see it's got the little triangle, that means it's found the center point. So I'm just going to click there and move the mouse out till it snaps onto that end point. You can see it makes a nice little square, that means it's snapped on. I'll repeat that step with this bottom section. See it's got the triangle with the X, move the mouse out, there it's snapped on. So within this we have everything we need. I'm going to cut it right at the top here. It's got the trim. You could also push T, which is the shortcut key. Trim, and we're going to trim out the parts that we don't need in, in our drawing to make the chain. Now you'll see this one line is black, which means it's constrained, and the rest is blue. You could leave it blue, um, but that's not going to... It's left so that it can actually... If you grab on it, you can move it and adjust it. We don't want that. So I'm just going to control Z to undo that. We're going to put in some dimensions. So if I push D, 
I can set these dimensions. Bear in mind they're already the correct dimensions. We just need to tell Fusion that they must not be changed from those dimensions. I'll do that over here. So both those semicircles as well as this vertical line. And then the distance between this vertical line and the other vertical line. There. Now we can see it's gone black which means it's fully dimensioned. Or fully constrained sorry I'll finish sketch now we've got that um, middle section the dotted line I will need to draw this profile so I'm going to create a sketch or a plane along this path so you go up to the top here where it says construct and I'm going to click on the drop down construct plane along path now all I do is hover over the lines that I've drawn and you can see it goes blue. When I click on it, it's going to ask me where I want to put my plane. So I can move it along this path. It, in this instance, it doesn't really matter where it is because it's a closed loop. I'm going to click OK. Now that is where we want to do our next drawing. So I'm going to hold Shift, Center Mouse button. Just change the angle there. Then I'll go Create Sketch, top left. And click on this plane. Now because we did it on the origin we know that that origin point is where our line is. So I'm going to create a center diameter circle, wait for it to snap onto that line. You can see it's got a solid square where it had a square with a sort of target in it. Click and move it out. Now I'm going to make that 4. So zoom out there we can see it. Enter. Now that is constrained because it snapped to that line. Now we go to top left here, create, drop down. Oh, sorry, no, I didn't finish the sketch. So it's important to finish the sketch before you try to do any solid modeling. So now again, create. And where is sweep? So there we go, that sweep. It's going to ask us what profile do we want to sweep? I'll select that profile. Then the path along which we want to sweep it, select, and we'll select this path. Click OK. And there we've got the same image as in our technical drawing. Now I'm going to repeat this just using a different method. So I'm going to go to my timeline down here, drag it all the way to the left. Now if I right click, I can say delete all features after History Maker. So now it's going to clear that all up for me. So let's start again. I'm just going to shift it to top view because I like to draw on the top plane. And create sketch on top plane. So if we remember those dimensions, it was a radius of 6, 6.5, sorry, and then a vertical distance of uh, 10. So now I'm going to use the line tool, click on this origin point, click and let go, and then move it up. We're going to make it 10, type in 10. Now I'm going to click again, but this time I'm going to click and hold it in. So on this point, click and hold the button in. Now as I move, it's going to generate a curve for me. And I can just kind of drag it out to where I sort of think. I know it's going to be 6.5. There's 6.5. We will still have to measure, dimension it to make sure it's constrained. Let go. And now we can do this one down. Click again and hold. Drag it out there. And there we've got the shape. It's much easier. Um, but you just need to remember to click and hold when you're making that shape. Now I'll dimension it again. Um, I don't know if I told you how last time, you push the D key or you can click up top there, Dimension. So now I'll select the vertical line, 10 millimeters, enter, these lines, 6 6.5, make it 6.5, enter, this one also 6.5, but it might tell me now that it's over constrained, no. It doesn't. So if you put in too many um, constraints, some of them become redundant and they'll be highlighted red and it'll tell you that it's over constrained. So now we're back to this stage. 
where we've got our our drawing finished sketch so again we'll go construct plane along path and we can see that whole um, profile or that whole sketch is highlighted click on there doesn't matter where it is click OK I'm just going to adjust this angle again control or, or shift and center mouse button then you move the mouse and it will orbit I'll create a new sketch on this plane and center diameter circle here at the top slide it onto the origin there you can see it changes to us to the coincident which snaps to it slide it out to four millimeters tap four there we go so that's our profile now our finished sketch i can go back into create here and select sweep select that profile the path along which we'll sweep is our drawing there okay so there's two different ways of doing the same thing uh, with design it's how you kind of uh, picture it in your mind how you see it coming together that'll determine the steps you take in which to create your 3d model hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and until next time, cheers.